Wednesday's Moment Talk Show. If you are joining us for the first time, you are welcome. So this is another wonderful episode in the Life Transforming Series. And today we have with us a man of God by name King Tope Obafemi. He's also a minister of God in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Chapel of Praise, Love and South Africa. And the topic we are discussing today is on the loss of the eyes. This is a terrible situation for Christians because sometimes your eyes might be leading, misleading you. We might fall into the, we might not be able to subject our, our flesh, you know, to the Holy Spirit. So that being said, I urge you all viewers, please stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notification of subsequent videos. Catch us as we discuss on this topic. Yeah, welcome, sir, to the Manjas Moment Talk Show. We're Thank very you. happy to have you. I know you as a very disciplined man of God, and I was inspired to host you for this topic. And I thank God for making you available. Yeah, welcome once again, sir. We give God the praise. Hallelujah. Please, sir, can you introduce yourself to me? Uh, I want to thank you for the opportunity thank God. Uh, to feature on this ep uh, uh, episode. Uh, we thank God for what God has been doing through this program so far. So it's um, an opportunity that I cannot um, just take lightly. Absolutely. So. so for the viewers, thank you for making us to come into your home at this point in time. So we want to believe that uh, God will use this particular episode to set people free hey, from man. the spirit of lust in the name hey, of Jesus. Man. So by the way of introduction, my name is Opa Femi Temi by Samson. So by the grace of God, God has been helping us to work with him for a while. So and um, by his grace, we are growing in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for that. Um, Daddy, please, can we just hit the show? We'll start by asking, what is the loss? What is the term loss of eyes? Mm. How can we define that term? Hallelujah. Um, before we, before we um, look at the loss of the eyes, so I think it's quite important that we first try to explain what lost is. So, so um, lost basically is the desire, the inordinate desire for what is not yours. Mm. So that is what we call lost. Um, but now when we say the lost of the height, so it is this uh, desire for things that you see, this um, inordinate ambition to get what you see that is not actually yours. Yes. Hallelujah. So we are not saying that as children of God we should not have desires. It is good for us to have desires. Mm, so because the right. scriptures made it clear to us that I wish above all things that you prosper. Mm. So it is God's desire for us to prosper. So mm. and for us to prosper we need to you know aim high and look for things that are uh, God are putting in our ways. So but at the same time when we now go out of the way of God to get what is not given unto us by God, uh, desiring somebody's wife, desiring somebody's job, desiring somebody's shoes, desiring somebody's wardrobe, desiring food that belongs to somebody else that is not meant to, you know, uh, bless you. So that is what, that's where the, the issue of lust comes in. Thank you so much for that wonderful exposition. Um, we we'll also like to touch on what the Bible says. What does the Word of God say about the loss of our eyes? Hallelujah. Amen. Um, the, the, the issue of lust actually started in the Garden of Eden. Okay. So if we remember in the, in the scriptures in the book of Genesis chapter 3, so uh, if we look at the verse 6 there, we saw there that um, um, even before that verse, um, God has instructed the first man and woman, Adam and Eve, that this particular three, you should not touch the fruit, you should not, you know, consume the fruit. Everything in the in the garden, you can actually do what you want with it, except for this particular tree. But um, the devil used the loss of the highs to actually trick the first woman here. Absolutely. Sir. So the Bible makes us to uh, understand in that particular verse in the book of Genesis chapter 3. 3 verse 6, that the woman looked at the tree. She saw that it was good and it was fitting for food. Hmm. So because of that, she desired. So that was where the issue of loss came. That is where the issue of loss came. Interesting. So, and um, what actually bet that, what actually led to that was that a 
apart from the fact that that fruit is very very beautiful and it is good for food uh, that she actually uh, actually um, felt that uh, that's what that is meant for the devil also used the lust of the flesh mm. to actually you know sink that into her and how he, she did that how he did that was that he told her that when you eat this fruit you become wise just by god mm. and um, you know the flesh then you know being given the opportunity to become wise just by god so that's what led to that loss mm. so we see from the scriptures that um, lost don't you know start in itself just like that when we cast our eyes on things mm. the first thing is that we we, we what we see then uh, means that to our heart Hearts. so when it goes into our heart and we continue to, to ruminate it. upon it mm. then it will give you know gratifications in the flesh, flesh. where we will now eventually uh, fall, fall into, into that, it. that loss. So I think from and, and that's why it is important that before we allow our body to have it we need to, uh, we should allow the Holy Spirit you know to engulf us because Christ has set us free so we should be able to have that hold on to that um, freedom that we have got in and not fall into the bondage of loss. So that being said, what could be the implication? Because so many Christians are falling for the loss of the flesh. There is the loss of the, the loss of pride, going for fame, for power, for material things, and even greed. In fact, everything falls under the loss of the eyes when we are not able to subject our body to the Spirit exactly. of God. Exactly. So that being said, what are the major implications that the loss of the flesh has on Christian believers? Hallelujah. Amen. So before I touch on that, you touched on something very important when you were talking because um, um, it's so true these days. It's very easy. Absolutely. You, you don't even notice so or realize it. You don't even notice or realize it. Some of those things we see it as a blessing, mm. as things that um, God has given unto us. Absolutely. So, but if we, if we go back into the scriptures, if you look at the book of First John chapter uh, two verse sixteen, it says there that um, for everything in the world, for everything in the world, the loss of the flesh, the loss of eyes, then the pride, pride of, of life, life, those three things do not come from the Father. Hmm. They are things of this world. Absolutely, sir. So anything that you know pushes us towards those three things mentioned, mm. we should know that it is not from the Father. Absolutely. So when we understand that that is not from the Father, then we will not, you know, engage in it. Mm. So, but because a lot of people do not understand that that is not from the Father, they so do that not is, realize the exactly. Difference. So that is why a lot of even the so-called Christians, the children of God, fought for it. Fought for it. Mm. So because of the fact that it's uh, just like if he did the mistake that it it did uh, it is good for consumption when i eat it it makes me better mm. it makes me wiser that's the only aspect the devil you know exactly you. so when he failed this particular uh, examination and fell into that temptation you remember when jesus our lord also was going to be uh, tested or tempted by the devil he used the same approach took him to a very high place. He showed him what his eyes can see. And he said, can you see all of this? I'll give it to you if you bow down to me. Mm. So, but Jesus was able to rise the bow that lost off the eyes. So, and the, at one point he told him, fall from here because you know your angels will carry you and you will not dash your foot against the stone. Mm. So that's his pride of life. Mm. Jesus, if actually he decided to fall because he's commander of angels, that could have happened, but you should not tell the Lord thy God. So you understand all of that, that is why he did not fall for it. So the implications of actually doing all of this is that we lose our dominion, which which Eve lost, Adam and Eve lost in the Garden of Eden. But God used Jesus to restore, restore. back to us yes, sir. because he did not fall for it. Yes, sir. So, what the devil is all out for mm. is basically to make us lose that place of dominion, mm. to yes, make sir. us to lose that place where we're supposed to be in Christ. So for some people, it might not be, because when we're talking about loss, it, it goes beyond just um, sexual immorality alone. Yes, sir. The same things that you know, covetousness is the we, 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 we Things that you know, it is not good for you. In fact, in some cases, people don't know. Um, some people call it craving these days. 
So you hear people talking about, I'm craving for ice cream. But you know very well, the doctors have been saying it, the nutritionists have been saying it, that too much of this is not good for your health. But then you crave for it. So the moment you see an advert regarding that, you will go for it. You go for it. Mm. So this is lost in a subtle way. Which that is the place I want to come in here, sorry. You know, another place I want us to pay attention to is the issue of the social media. Mm. That besides the TV, like the adverts, mm. there's so much distractions. You go on Instagram, you go on Facebook, there are videos you do not want to watch, but you just exactly. come across them. Exactly. So in that area, please, can you link it in line with the ice cream mm. example mm. you gave? Yes. How does a Christian handle such? Yes, all of these things, um, it's all around us. There's nothing we can do about it. Mm. So we cannot ask the social media to close down to close down. because we are Christians. Mm. We, we, we know very well that the prince of this world uses all of those mediums to make people fall. Yes, sir. But then we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Absolutely. That is where we have a leverage. That is where we have a upper hand. Because uh, our Lord Jesus already defeated him. Amen. So he has, handed, he has handed that power over to us. Glory so to God. when you are on social media and things like that are coming your way, so what you need to do is flee. You want to resist it with all the spirit of God inside of you. Mm. That he is was, not why you yeah, are there. Yeah. That is not why you are there. You are there. You wanted to see this video. You wanted to see the next episode mm. coming out from this uh, wonderful program. And there's so, something else. But then too. something else popped up. So you need to scroll away. Immediately. Immediately. Flee every appearance of evil. That's what the scripture tells us. In fact, um, David said, uh, in the book of uh, Psalm, Psalm 101 verse 3, he said, I have not said anything bad before my face. Mm. So that means I will not gaze on anything that will cause me to sin. Mm. So when you see that this particular thing is not intended for a child of God, you quickly, you quickly leave it alone and you move on to sin. Thank you, you so much. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of the story of Joseph, you know, because of that discipline he had, mm -hmm. he was able to resist. Mm -hmm. So viewers, if you find yourself in such kind of situation, awkward situations, you know, flee and, you know, resist the devil and you flee. Mm -hmm. So that's just the only way out. Even with the social media, you bump across a, a sexual video, for instance, or a pornography, mm -hmm. you know, they're all there. We can't even, we can't, we can't run away from them, mm -hmm. but you have the choice to avoid quickly mm. you know scroll away and find something that you that identify, identify the person. body yeah. you know and, and, and that being said uh, please our last question is uh, how does a christian overcome this loss of the eyes one or two steps that a christian believer could take to overcome this praise god Hallelujah. the first thing that a, a, a child of god should understand is that the body that we carry is the temple of God. Hallelujah. Very true. And um, the temple of God cannot be contaminated with anything that is sinful. Very true. So when we understand that aspect, everything that represents sin, everything that represents something that God does not want, we do completely away from it. That's true. So when we're able to do that, we will not fall into this lost of heart. So when we feed on the word of God daily, mm. when we expose ourselves to the word of God, he opens our eyes to these secrets. As a man, the scripture tells you that the prostitute reduce a man to a loaf of bread. Mm. So when I say that in the word of God, that is enough to tell me that I don't that allow is. myself to be lustful towards any woman. Because of the danger and implication. Because of the danger and implication. So if you compare for a man that is blessed with the Spirit of God, you've got a job, you've got a beautiful wife, you've got wonderful children, now compared with a loaf of bread. Mm. Here in South Africa, I don't know how much, is, how expensive is it, is the best loaf of bread. <laughs> but I mean, that's the, about the cheapest. So the, the, the most expensive bread you get, maybe in Woolworth, mm. let's say 100 bread. Mm. And I've never seen any bread with a price tag of 100 grand on it. So let's say 100 grand. Now compare that to your value. To your value. So you will not want to throw that away if you have studied the word of God and you have found it there. So that is why the word of God is also something that we should, you know, use as our weapon to be able to deal 
with more. So as children of God, we need to soak ourselves into this world. Mm. So when we are soaked into the word of God, it helps us to be able to deal with these issues. Mm. So and again, uh, like we said earlier, so if for any reason, just like Joseph, you find yourself in such situation, you flee. Don't wait until it takes your destiny. Very flee. Okay. Postman's wife was after nothing else but the destiny of that young man. I'm sure he would have lost it. He would have lost it if he did not flee. So you want to flee. Flee all appearances of, of evil end. and God will continue to help us. Amen. Thank you so much. We'll be blessed, sir. Please, can you give the viewers a take home? So, brethren, I, I want to um, admonish every one of us. Um, it is quite important for us to have desires as human beings. It is very, very important for us to aim at wonderful things. But then we do not want to go out of the will of God to get what we need to get. Very interesting. The scripture says, belly for the food and food for the belly. One day God will destroy them both. So if it is food that you are not school towards, you know very well that it's not going to take you into eternity. In eternity, it is not even needed there. A lot of lives have been truncated because of the loss of the highest towards food, which we refer to as gluttony. People are sick, people are carrying, hard, carrying around so many of some kind of sickness because they cannot take their eyes away from those things. The same thing with sexual immorality that is very rampant and common these days. So, brethren, I want you to flee from those things using the word of God as the anchor for your life as you go. And I pray that the one that has called us is faithful enough to see us go through this journey. Amen. You and I will not fall by the wayside Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate you, sir. May the Lord reward you for your input and contribution. There we have it, viewers. I have nothing more to say. Please watch this again and catch any area that you feel you need to address concerning your life. I pray the Lord help you and transform your life as you listen to this message. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.